Hey everybody, Chris here, D1 Theory, got another video for you talking about the importance of coordination uh, at the quarterback position. So you're basically the point guard of the entire offense, right? So you need to be able to handle things to the left, handle things to the right. Obviously, you don't need to throw with both hands. You see every now and then clips of people throwing, throwing left and throwing right and things like that. But that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the coordination to be able to make plays in both directions, right? And that means that your coordination with your, with your body, with your hands, with your feet, you're able to make fakes to the left. You're able to make fakes to the right. You're able to roll to the right and make throws. You're able to roll to the left and make throws. And that is not so easy, right? So the things that you got to understand with coordination and things that you can maybe you can work on um, are, for instance, you work on your rollout, your, your, your rollout, your sprint out to the right, and you're getting that shoulder pointing to your target and you're throwing the ball. For a right-hander, it's pretty easy to throw that thing to the right. For a, a right-hander now rolling, sprinting to the left, you really got to work the flexibility of your hips, and you got to get that turn here, right? From It starts with your hips, get everything turned, and you get your shoulder again to your target, and you're coming downhill and you're throwing the ball. This is not so easy. Um, this is not a situation um, where somebody either you have it or you don't have it. This is something you can work on. Um, one thing you can do uh, to work on your, your dexterity, right? So your, your, your hands, um, your hand ability, your hand strength, what you're able to do with the coordination of your hands. Uh, I'll give you guys an example here. Juggling is a great, is a great tool, right? You can juggle, I'll, I'll juggle for the rest of the video, okay? So I'm here. When we're doing coordination drills, what's really important, okay, is to be able to do this, okay, to be able to juggle, to be able to have coordination with your feet, to be able to do whatever it is you need to do with um, on top on the field, right? So if you're playing basketball, if you're able to take throws to the right, you're able to take throws to the left, you're able to open with your f uh, feet in both directions, you're able to do everything you need to do with the ball because again, you are the quarterback, all right? You are the quarterback, you are the person that has the ball in your hands every single play. So. You gotta get used to having a football in your hands. You gotta get good with, it's enough for now. You gotta get good with um, handling the ball in every situation, right? You gotta be good at doing a fake to the left. Be good at doing a fake to the right. You gotta be able to be, as a quarterback, you gotta be able to uh, hide the ball to the left. Hide the ball to the right. Whatever it is that you have in a playbook, it is very, very important that you're able to make plays um, with the ball, without the ball, with your fakes, uh, every single thing that you do, the more coordinated you are, the better ball, more of a ball player that you are, that you can make plays and your dexterity is better, the better. So my suggestion is really, if you're starting at a young age, is play more sports. Play more than just football. Play basketball. Develop your left hand. I'll give you a clip of a left-handed layup, right? This this looks easy, but it's not so easy, right? These are things that like you learn with other sports, with with lacrosse with hockey with any other sport that you play you're going to develop skills that will help you in playing the game of football again we're talking here on this channel more specifically about uh, the quarterback position but it's very important that you're not closed mind to to other sports because uh, I really think that the better an athlete is right the better he or she is at playing a, a majority of sports and this helps this person, right, get better at football, and especially as a quarterback. Again, as a quarterback, you're doing so many motions and so many things that you can't just put on a checklist, right? There's so many intangibles that certain quarterbacks are just so good at, right? You're making a fake to the left, and you're able to just hide that ball, right? Because you're at that next level where you understand the play. You've done it a thousand times, right? That muscle memory is there. You're able to, to put both hands here, hide, hide the ball on your hip, right? And have a good fake here. And it looks easy because people have done it a thousand times and it's just like uh, another, another, another rep for somebody that's, that's in college or in the pros, right? But if you're just starting out, you need to learn these things from the basics. You need to be able to move in both directions. And my suggestion is if you're able to really start at a young age is to, to play a lot of sports um, and work on moving in both directions. Work on your footwork moving to the right. Work on your footwork, moving to the left. Work on your fakes in both directions. What really, really, really is important to me as well is the ability 
to do everything in both directions. So every single thing I just said, you need to work on, including say a pitch, a simple pitch. Are you able to pitch the ball to the right? Are you able to pitch the ball to the left? Are you able to reverse pivot, right? And, and get the ball directly to the running backs. Running backs, hopefully you have good hands, but running backs don't have you know, hands like receivers do, right? So you need to put that ball really soft, right right here so that he or she can catch the ball, right? You're moving to the left, you're moving to the right. Are you able to um, pitch the ball to the left or the right? I see this all the time. People are, are trying to throw a, uh, you're moving to the left and you're trying to throw an option pitch with the right hand. I mean, this is just, you don't do that, right? You don't need to be ambidextrous to be able to develop your opposite hand. So again, I'm not telling you that you need to be able to throw the ball with your opposite hand, right, in a game situation, but work on your opposite hand, play more sports, get as coordinated as possible, right, and work on your dexterity because you, again, you are the point guard, you have the ball in your hands. The quarterback center exchange is the most important exchange of the entire game of football. You have the ball in your hand every single play, right? So get the ball, make the play, and do the intangibles. Do the things that make a quarterback better. Don't just go on a checklist and, okay, I hand the ball off and then I roll out. So I did my job. And then do it that you really influence the defense. You do a fake, you really want to see on film that you influence the defense through your actions, right? And that is only possible if you're able to go both sides, left and to the right with your fakes, with every single thing that you do with a game of football um, in terms of coordination. So I'm going to show you a few clips here. Please enjoy. Let me know if you guys want to see anything else. Thanks. So as I mentioned, this is a good example playing playing the game of basketball. You know, you're taking a left-handed layup. Of course, you're finishing with your left hand. You're shooting the ball with your left hand. It's the same thing with an option pitch. If you're going to the left, you got to make it with your left hand. This is an example of me in a game punting the ball. This may also be a situation where every once in a while you got to punt the ball. You have to be coordinated to do that right? You're running option, you're making a fake, you're getting in the end zone. There's so many different things as a quarterback that you have to be able to do. You have to be able to use your left foot, your left arm, as well as your right. How is your escapability? Are you able to get away from defenders and make a very difficult throw for a completion down the field, right? Are you able to take a normal drop back and throw to the right, throw to the left? Are you able to make something happen? People are going deep, there's nobody open. Are you able to escape on your on your feet? Are you able to use your coordination to get open? Are you able to pinpoint the ball to only a spot on the outside shoulder that your receiver can catch it and nobody else, right? You gotta be able to be able to pitch the ball to the left and to the right against a good team. Again, are you able to pinpoint the ball um, in the back of the end zone on the right side, on the left side, the short side, the long side? Are you able to run the ball? Are you able to make people miss in open space? Are you able to deliver a ball, right, on time, on the money, to your receiver, you know? I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave any questions and comments below. Thanks.